We got a question, Insulin IQ. Thanks for sharing this question from Mary. I'm trying to better understand the relationship between GLP-1 and insulin resistance. If the goal is to keep insulin resistance, uh, insulin as low as possible, why is GLP-1 a good thing since it stimulates insulin production? Oh my gosh, Mary. Love that question um, because it is one that has been weaponized against um, uh, those of us who believe that insulin is not only critical to insulin resistance, but also necessary to lower in the case of weight loss. This is actually a conversation I have been having via email with multiple people, including my friend and the brilliant Gary Tobbs, the science reporter, um, author, uh, and some other physicians and scientists, where I I sort of joked about the metabolic impossibility of the view that most people have of GLP-1 uh, drugs like semaglutide, where they will say it increases insulin, but it also reduces appetite and, and causes people to eat less. That doesn't work. That is an incompatible transition or, or shift because if you're eating less but you're increasing your insulin, you'll die. That is, that is a, a lethal – shift because if insulin is up, it's pushing all of the glucose out of the blood. At the same time, it's inhibiting ketogenesis. And now your brain is left wondering, well, I can use glucose and ketones. Where are they? They're, they aren't here anymore in adequate amounts, so I'm going to just turn off. So why do I even go on that little rant? It is because GLP-1 drugs in humans actually do not stimulate an insulin release. There is a hugely confounding body of literature on this topic, but I will cite and try to find the study. Um, I want to be able to share with you this study um, that finds – it was actually conducted by Dr. Arnie Ostrup, who is the head like scientist at Nova Nordisk now in Denmark. Um, a really, really nice guy, actually. Um, as much as you know, I have my issues with these weight loss GLP-1 drugs, um, mostly because I think they're just overused. Uh, Arnie is actually a really, really nice guy and, and brilliant scientist, which is almost condescending of me to say because he's way more brilliant than I am. He's the one who would say that about me and pat me on the head. Um, let me just try to find that study um, where he, Dr. Arnie um, – Astrup shows that GLP-1 um, activation does not increase insulin release in humans. In fact, it was really convincing. Um, one sec, I'll find it. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully this isn't too awkward. I, I'd love to be able to share this paper with you. Um, yeah, yeah, here it is. Okay, I found it. All right, so the name of the article, I'll, I'll put this in actually and send it. That's the title of the article. Okay. So team, if we want to share this with Mary, um,